During the early period of Qing rule, Lu Mingchuan governed Taiwan and initiated the digging of wells in Taipei City to improve the drinking water supply for the public, marking the beginning of Taipei's public water supply. In the early Japanese colonial period, Taipei City Wall's sanitary environment was poor, and the drinking water conditions were also substandard. Sanitary engineering became a priority. As Taipei was considered the best region in Taiwan at the time, public water supply became a critical step towards modernization. In 1896, the government general of Taiwan dispatched individuals such as Burton and Himano Yashiro to conduct a survey for the construction of waterworks across Taiwan. The first water supply project in Taiwan began in Tamsui in 1896, and the Taipei Headwater Point Slow Sand Filtration Plant project started in 1907. During the Japanese colonial period, the main headwater systems in Taipei were the Taipei Headwater Point Slow Sand Filtration Plant and the Chaoshan Waterworks System, which supplied water to Taipei city walls. Secondary headwaters included the Beitou Waterworks and the Shirlin Waterworks, which supplied water to their respective areas. The Taipei Headwater Point Slow Sand Filtration Plant was the first water purification facility in Taipei City, constructed beginning in 1907. Its facilities included a water intake point, a pump room, two sedimentation tanks, eight slow sand filters, a reservoir, a water gauge room, a fountain, a sand washing area, a sand deposition area, a warehouse, official residences, staff dormitories, and an office, etc. The operation process involved setting up a water intake point at the foot of Guanin Mountain in Gongguan, on the west side of the Xindian River. A pump room was built to draw raw water from the Xindian River, which was then sent to the sedimentation tanks at the purification plant. After passing through the slow sand filters, the filtered clear water was pumped through the pump room to the Guanianshan Reservoir for storage. From there, it flowed naturally by gravity to the water gauge room and was then distributed to users. In 1909, the water output was 20,000 cubic meters, serving a population of 120,000. The water intake point of the Taipei Headwater Slow Sand Filtration Plant, located at the foot of Guanin Mountain by the Xindian River, was a square brick well known as the first pumping well, measuring 7.27 meters long. 3.18 meters wide, and 8.72 meters deep. The pump room of the Taipei Headwater Slow Sand Filtration Plant was constructed in 1907. Its main function was to transport untreated raw water and the purified clear water. The pump room housed the essential pumping equipment for the water supply facilities and was completed in 1908. Following the demolition of the Slow Sand Filtration Plant, the pump room was designated as a historical monument, now known as the Museum of Drinking Water. The water purification facilities of the Taipei Headwater Slow Sand Filtration Plant were planned, designed, and constructed in 1907, including two circular sedimentation tanks and eight slow sand filters. In 1909, the water distribution pipes, sedimentation tanks, and slow sand filters were completed. The clear water reservoir of the Taipei Headwater Slow Sand Filtration Plant, namely the Guanianshan Reservoir, was located at the top of Guanin Mountain. It was constructed using vertical excavation methods, with a light rail system to transport construction materials to the top of the slope. To prevent sunlight exposure and contamination, a roof was built over the reservoir, covered with soil and grass, and trees were planted for shade. Moreover, because the reservoir was a critical water facility, it was constructed as a semi-basement with a downward excavation to make it less noticeable. The reservoir was decommissioned after the slow sand filtration plant was dismantled and is now a historical monument. The water gauge room was used to measure the water output from the Guanianshan Reservoir. It is a Japanese-style brick building, 9 meters in length and width. It was decommissioned in conjunction with the dismantling of the slow sand filtration plant and is currently listed as a historical monument. In 1909, the Taipei Headwater Slow Sand Filtration Plant began supplying water for domestic use to areas such as Banka, Taipei City Walls, and Dadoching. 
At that time, the suburbs of Taipei metropolitan area, such as Beitou and Shirlin, due to their higher elevation, distance from the Xindian River, and the need to cross the Keelung River, had their domestic water supply provided by the newly constructed Beitou and Shirlin waterworks. In the early Japanese colonial period, Beitou was famous for its hot springs, which attracted a continuous flow of bathers, necessitating the establishment of a waterworks. In 1910, two headwater points were discovered, the first headwater point was the Fonglizai Spring, and the second was the Bientu Spring. Both sources were tested and found to have very clean water quality, leading to the construction of the Beitou Waterworks project. The total length of the Beitou Waterworks exceeded 5 kilometers. The waterwork route started from the first headwater point at Fonglizai Spring, converging with the second headwater point at Bientu Spring. The water supply area included the Beitou branch of the military hospital, the Beitou public bathhouse, the Beitou park fountain, the hot spring hotels and the street settlements along Wen Quan Road, as well as the Xin Beitou station, serving a population of 4,000. The Sherlin Waterworks, completed in 1911, was a small waterworks that supplied water to the Sherlin Street with a population of 5,000, the shrine area, the shrine's firefighting water supply, and the Dalongdong settlement. The total daily water requirement was 22,500 cubic meters. The headwater for the Sherlin Waterworks was an artesian spring from the belly of Shuangxi Mountain. Water was delivered to Sherlin Street via a 6-inch iron pipe and extended to the shrine area via a 4-inch iron pipe to the shrine's pumping well and then to the shrine's reservoir. Crossing the Keelung River via the Meiji Bridge, it supplied water to the residents of Dalongdong. The Chaoshan Waterworks system was the second set of waterworks for Taipei City. Due to the population expansion in the Taipei City area in 1925, the Taipei Headwater Slow Sand Filtration Plant was no longer sufficient. Therefore, in 1928, the abundant artesian springs of Zizihu and Shamao Mountain were used as headwaters to construct the Chaoshan Waterworks. It was connected to the Taipei City and Gongguan systems over a long distance, forming a dual-source water supply system from the north and south. The waterworks project was completed in March 1932, with a daily supply of 28,000 cubic meters of water, serving a population of 320,000. The Chashan water supply system's route begins at the first artesian spring in Zuzihu, Gunshueto, from where the spring water flows through an underground channel to the first continuation well beside Qingchen Ridge. From there, it was transported to the first water pipe bridge next to the Datun waterfall with a drop of 100 meters, using high-pressure steel pipes for water transmission. The spring water was sent down through the steel pipes, crossing the second water pipe bridge of Ziming River near the Shaoyin Pond area of Qianshan Park, and then to the second continuation well near the Yangmingshan bus terminal. After that, it reaches the third artesian spring of Shamao Mountain, Yangming Artesian Spring, located beneath the first lookout point on the Yangtou Road. Crossing the Song River via the third pipe bridge next to the spring, the water passed through a ration chamber to remove iron, manganese, gases, and impurities. Finally, the water from both artesian springs was collected at the junction well, adjusted in volume at the retention well, and then sent down through high-pressure steel pipes along a 200-meter height difference to the Sanjiapu hydropower plant at the foot of the mountain for electricity generation. After generating electricity, the spring water flowed naturally by gravity, sent to the Yuanshan Reservoir for storage, and then distributed from the reservoir, crossing the Keelung River via the Meiji Bridge, and delivered through the city to Taipei city walls, providing water for the area. The entire Chaoshan waterwork system is now listed as a city-designated third-grade historic site. The Sanjiapu hydropower plant was completed in 1931, with an initial power generation capacity of 500 kilowatts. It was originally intended to supply electricity to the Taipei headwater pump room. However, due to the long distance and significant power loss during transmission, it was later repurposed to supply electricity to the Tianmu area. 
Currently, the Sanjiapu hydropower plant no longer generates electricity due to reduced water flow and cost considerations, and has been converted into the Tianmu booster station. The Yangming Water Purification Station is located in Beitou District, Taipei City, and supplies water to administrative districts including Shirlin and Beitou. Due to the large disparity in water volume between summer and winter in the mountainous headwaters, the raw water supply has become increasingly scarce. Currently, the raw water is obtained from surface streams at the foothills of Shamao Mountain, Dayton Mountain, and Qixing Mountain, including five streams such as Qukang River, Daking River, Sulphur Creek, Lujiaking River, and Lengshuiking River, as well as artesian springs from nine water systems including the first, second, and third headwaters of Bay 2, Zuzihu Headwater, the first, third, and fourth headwaters of Yangmingshan, and the Taiyin Headwater. Except for Lujiaokong, the other headwaters all flow naturally by gravity. The total water output is about 40,000 cubic meters, treated by two slow sand filtration and two rapid sand filtration processes. The water treatment chemicals are sodium hypochlorite and polyaluminium chloride. The raw water pipeline diameter ranges from 7.5 cm to 35 cm, with a length of 34.5 km. The Shuangxi Water Purification Station is located in Shirlin District, Taipei City, and is a small-scale water purification station completed in 1957. The headwaters for the Shuangxi Water Purification Station include Shuangxi and Jingkei River. During the raining season, the station only uses the Shuangxi headwater, which is sufficient for a daily output of 4,000 cubic meters. However, during the dry season, the backup headwater from Jingkei River is added. In 1986, the plant was relocated and rebuilt as the current water purification station, with a daily output of 22,000 cubic meters, supplying drinking water to residents in the Shuangxi Central Community and the third section of Zhishan Road in Taipei City. The main raw water source for the Shuangxi Dam is the Neishuang River. The Shuangxi Dam is a reinforced concrete dam, 23 meters long, with an overflow channel 3.45 meters high, covering a catchment area of about 1.5 hectares, with an original effective regulation capacity of about 30,000 cubic meters. The water purification process and facility configuration of the Shuangxi Water Purification Station start with the raw water passing through the water intake point, raw water well, flash mixer, flocculation basin, forming larger flocks, then settling in the sedimentation tank. The supernatant then enters the rapid sand filter to remove suspended solids in the water. After disinfection, it flows into a clear water reservoir with a capacity of 6,000 cubic meters, and then is distributed for use in various areas. The Shuangxi Water Purification Station transports sludge from the sedimentation tank to the sludge processing spot. After treatment with chemicals, settling, and concentration, the supernatant is recovered for retreatment. The concentrated liquid is made into sludge cakes, which can then be made into red bricks, cement additives, etc., achieving full resource recycling. 1907, construction of the Taipei Headwater Slow Sand Filtration Plant began. 1909, the Taipei Headwater Slow Sand Filtration Plant was completed and began supplying water. 1910, construction of the Beitou Waterworks Project began. 1911, the Beitou Waterworks Project was completed. 1911, the Sherlin Waterworks Project was completed. 1927, construction of the Chaoshan Waterworks System began. 1931, the Sanjiapu Hydropower Plant was completed. 1932, the Chaoshan Waterworks System was completed. 1943, the Yangming Water Purification Station was constructed. 1957, the Shuangxi Water Purification Station was constructed. The construction of Taipei's tap water began with the construction of the Headwater Point Slow Sand Filtration Plant in 1907, laying a good foundation for the tap water in the Taipei metropolitan area. During the Japanese colonial period, 
Due to population growth, many waterworks facilities were constructed, providing the Taipei metropolitan area with clean water. The construction of the Beitou Waterworks provided sufficient water for the local hot spring industry. The Chaoshan Waterworks system was the most expensive and difficult waterworks project during the Japanese colonial period. In the process of water transportation and power generation, the natural flow of the terrain was fully utilized, and no pressurization equipment was installed throughout the course, becoming a model for tap water engineering. Tap water has been running in the Taipei metropolitan area for over 100 years, and today we can drink high-quality tap water thanks to the efforts of our predecessors in public water supply.